Hey there folks, Spike here in the Frugal Fixer Shop. Welcome to the shop today. Today I'm going to give you a little update on where we're at on this base. So hey, stick around and watch out. You ready? Let's go. Hey, welcome back. I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I got the, a lot done on this thing. I got more to do, but I'm getting there. And uh, I got some things I got to work out, as always, because I'm always working something out, because I do things different. Y'all know that. And uh, I just decided on this one, I was going to take my time and get it all just like I want it. So let me show you what I've been working on, and uh, we'll go from there. You ready? Let's go. Okay. I got it trimmed out, and uh, I got the headstock shaped. Pretty much like I want. I still have to thin the headstock to the thin to the thickness I want, and I have an opening here for my truss rod. You see the hole, hole right there, but I've got to open that up in here and make the nice pretty hole right there. So I got to work on that. I got a slot for my nut cut right here, and I've got all my frets cut. And then on the back, I've got the truss rod installed, and in the back I've got my tuners marked out here ready to be marked out. And I'm going to go ahead and drill those and get the holes at least marked through so I can mark them. And then once I get the strip cut to fill this gap with, then I'll be ready to shape the back of the neck. And uh, what I've done is I reshaped it a little bit. I took some off the horn right here like I wanted to do. I've got some comfort carving to do here, some, some arm carving here, a little bit on the belly right up under here maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, I am going to make a little bit of shave on this edge right here though for sure. Um, and then the rest of it I'm not going to mess with too much. The one thing I did do is I made this fretboard just kind of die into the into the guitar. Because it's all one piece of wood, why not make it make it where you can see it so you know what it's doing. So yeah, I brought it down and just let it die off into the top of the guitar like this. And by doing so, I've got it pretty much shaped like I want. Nobody's ever going to play the last two frets up here. And this one's going to be a little short fret. It's going to be about that long. And it's right under the strings. It barely reaches under the strings. But who, who bends a string on a bass? I don't. You know, here's the odd thing, folks. I probably played a bass guitar in my life three hours. So I'm fixing to have a lot to learn, you know, to work with this. But, hey, I'm loving the way it's shaping out. The balance is getting good in it, you know, since I've got everything took off of it. And, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. And where I'm at right now is I've been... Radius and the fretboard. And this sycamore is a little harder than I thought it was. And I'm in good shape all the way down here. And I'm coming down all like right here. And I get to about right. Right there I can see just a little smidge. So I want to back up. And from right here to right here i got to work out this section here. And get this worked out now. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're going to take this block. And I've been doing this a lot guys. So y'all just be ready. And uh, we're going to take this down here and get the rest of this smoothed out. So let's get on it and go. You ready? Let's go. I'm put a fresh piece of sandpaper on and go over the whole board again when I get done. y'all wonder this piece right here this this little piece right here that's my that's my strip to put back in the back of the back of the neck yeah just so you'll know what it's up there for <laughs> yeah it's what it come out of guys big old chunk you know oh yeah that's nice 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 yeah oh yeah now we're getting somewhere folks we got it tapered. We got it ready to go. You like mental spirits to clean something like this? I do. I 
kommer jo en dag hen i Møbo. Hvad sker? Hey, ready to watch a part? You're ready to watch a part? Let's go! spot down here where I've been working, see if I need to do any more work on it. I know it's got to have some fine sanding done, but I want to see if I need more, any more tapering to be done right here on this. Y'all see what I've done right there? Yeah, buddy. That's yeah, looking pretty sweet. Guess I should go ahead and clean the whole top of it now while I'm doing it right. about that neck? Looks pretty sweet, ain't it? Let's lay some frets in it just for a look. Let's, uh, let's just lay some in and look at it. We're at the point where I'm trying to decide if I want to put a coat of finish on this neck and let it set up before I put the frets in. Uh, next time we start, we'll be putting these frets in and filling that slot in the back. We'll be finishing this thing quick once we get this far because I'm moving now. So hey, y'all stick with me, come back next time and uh, we'll get it done. So thank you all for joining me and I appreciate you coming in while I was working on the old base. I got the fretboard in good shape. I'm really loving the look of it. I mean, the, 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 the grain is beautiful and it's gonna really pop once we get some finish. And I think I'm gonna do the solar res UV finish on it just to lock it all in and just give it an absolute, just look like wood. Is what I'm thinking about doing. You know, wood guitar, look like wood, organic guitar, you know? So I need to know what y'all think about my little thing I'm doing right there. I know it's a little crazy looking, but I like it. You know, it just, you see where the fretboard grew out of that guitar, okay? So yeah, that's where we're at on that. And uh, there's what we're looking like on the fretboard. Uh, we'll either put a finish on it or we'll put frets in it next. So we're ready to do that. So hey, y'all stick with me. Come back next time. Remember this. God loves you and so do I. You can't take it with you. So hey, do something you want to do. Do something you need to do or help somebody, okay? That's probably the best thing you can do. Help somebody else. Do that for me. Hey, love y'all guys. See you next time. Later.